guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look like crap because I feel like crap. <laughs> I just got back from my 15 days trip to Sikkim and I'm extremely exhausted. Right now I'm like having really high fever, but I missed you guys so 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 much that I'm back and today I'm going to show you um like holiday glam look because this season is like for all partying and this holiday celebration, Christmas celebration. So I'm going to uh, turn myself into a literally like glamorous diva. I hope so. <laughs> and I'm going to show you another thing that is reverse um, foundation technique that basically I asked you guys a uh, few days before in my Insta that I have started uh, following a different base makeup routine which I am absolutely in love with. So would you guys like to be interested to see this and you guys actually like uh, said yes so i'm going to show you that as well so yeah let's just jump right in first i'm going to start off by priming my face here i'm using nyx honey dew me up uh, primer this is basically for dry skin but right now winter is here and my skin is dry so that's why i'm using it Okay, first we are going to start off with our eyes and for that I'm prepping my eyes by applying some concealer and blending it with my beauty blender. I'm not going to set it. This is something that I have recently started doing. I don't really set my concealer with my powder because that way you are going to lose some pigmentation of your eyeshadow and I don't want that. Before I start applying my eyeshadow, I totally forgot to do my brows. So I'm just quickly set my brows and I'm not really doing much with my brows. Uh, they are already shaped. So I'm just following my natural brow shape with the help of uh, Color Bar Eyebrow Pencil in the shade called Chestnut. And there accidentally I just overdrew my uh, brow which you can see. I also can see uh, during my editing but that time I totally missed it. <laughs> and I corrected it way after when my full face makeup was pretty much done you guys are going to see this spot like pretty much throughout the video then i'm going to set my eyebrows with some brow gel and this one is from nyx uh, again and this is in the shade called espresso now for my eyes i'm going to use this brand new eyeshadow palette from makeup revolution this is the i love makeup collection uh, mint chocolate palette I didn't even swatch it I mean this is for the first time I'm going to use it and look at the palette guys it's just amazing so for my crease I'm going to use shade called worlds apart and what I'm doing is that I'm patting my shadow and then just blending and just pat 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 and then blend 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 that way you will just get uh, the maximum color amount this palette is really great like you will see that there is zero fallout and the shadows are not too soft because uh, if the shadows are very very soft, you are going to have a um, hard time to blend them but they are not at all chalky so they are just perfect to create those smooth blended eyeshadow look. Just to warm it up a bit more, I am going to use this shade called Secret and using it in the crease with a small tip brush and the best part about uh, this palette is that I got it uh, in almost 50% discount from the site called Hawk Makeup just to blend those colors a bit more I'm going to use this shade called T and um, blending those colors with a fluffy blending brush I'm just uh, applying a bit more those two shadows called Secret and World Apart just to uh, make it more blended. For my lid, I'm going to apply this beautiful dark green shadow called Poison Ivy. The moment I saw this palette, I was like, I have to use this color. This is a beautiful dark cool tone green. And what I'm doing is that I'm just taking a small brush and applying it in a patting motion. The shadow is really pigmented. I mean, you can see how seamlessly it is applying over those dark shades. I really expect that this shade in particular is not going to have any kind of fallout. Like, uh, these dark shades are tend to be very, very soft and that's why you get tons of fallout whenever you are going to use them. But uh, I was like beyond amazed. Then I'm taking this darker shade called Awake and uh, applying it on my crease just to create more depth. Then I'm taking that same uh, fluffy brush but this time I have dipped it in the secret and walls apart again and then I'm just uh, blending that dark shade. 
Now for the extra bling, I'm using this Faces Tackle Pigments and using it with a damn flat brush, you really need to work with very very little amount because these pigments are insanely pigmented. So I'm just uh, applying it with some flat brush. I'm not really using any glitter glue or anything. I just have dampened my brush with some setting spray and I'm applying it with my fingers as well as a brush. To create that nice halo effect, I'm going to take this shade called Rival and applying it with a small sponge tip brush. This brush actually came with the palette. I didn't really throw up because this kind of sponge tip applicators are great for shimmer shadow application. And just to deepen it a bit more, I'm taking that same shade called Poison Ivy and I'm applying it in the outer and inner corners of my eyes. To tightline my upper lash line, I'm going to take this Plum Kajal. I'm not going to wear any kind of winged liner today. I'm going to skip that because I don't really want to hide this beautiful green shadow with any kind of winged liner but it's totally up to you. If you want to add some thick black winged eyeliner, you can totally go for it. Now uh, here is the reverse makeup technique. What I'm start off with my bronzer and for that I'm taking this NYX highlighter stick. Uh, in the shade called um, Topaz Tan, I guess, this is the darkest shade. You can totally use it for uh, cream bronzer, which I'm going to do here. I'm blending it with my Damn Beauty Blender. Then for my blush, I'm going to use Faces Ultim Pro Stick Blush. Uh, I'm not really sh uh, sure about the shade, but this has a like beautiful corally shade. I, I will mention everything in the description box as I always do, so do check that out. And again, I'm just blending it out with my damn beauty sponge. Before I put my highlighter, I need to conceal my under eye area and for that I'm using my Maybelline Aged Wine Concealer and again I'm just blending that as well. No, right now my face is looking hilarious, I'm looking like a monkey but just stay with me, you will see everything that comes together. Then I'm applying my highlighter, uh, it is the basically NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter. Beautiful highlighters guys, you can totally build it up but in one swipe it just gives you that nice subtle glow i'm just blending it with my fingers i don't really like blending liquid highlighters with sponge or some brush i just uh, feel that it just takes away the pigmentation uh, liquid highlighters are going to work great with uh, fingers so just i'm um, applying it with my fingers so i'm going to apply my foundation i'm taking maybelline fit me foundation in the shade called 230 and i'm applying it with the damn beauty blender and here i'm just going to apply one layer because this uh, foundation gives you pretty much like medium to full coverage in one layer uh, if you want you can totally go for like two layers and give it a full coverage but i guess that's the point that we are not going to uh, cake up our face but it's totally up to you so here I'm just using one thin layer of the foundation and blending it quite thoroughly now I know that at this point my face is just looking white and there is no dimension I mean whatever we have just done like our bronzing uh, blushing and the highlighter part is all gone but just uh, wait for some time uh, just let your foundation set on your face and you will see the difference I'm just quickly set my face and for that I'm not going to use any kind of setting powder because that is just going to add some extra layer. What I'm going to do is I'm taking this L'Oreal Matte Magic Compact Powder and I'm just pressing the compact powder uh, under my eyes and on my T-zone where I tend to get oily. And sorry the whole product was out of focus while I was shooting it but from the packaging I think you guys have understood that this is the l'oreal matte machine compact now for my lower lash line i'm using that same green shade called poison ivy and i'm blending it furthermore with the help of a fluffy brush and the shade called secret and walls apart I really like to smoke down my lower lash line like really really low but if you're someone who doesn't really like that you can totally go light-handed but i just feel that uh, it gives your eyes an instant dramatic and kind of sexy smoky look which I love. Now for my inner corners I'm going to use this bright yellow shimmery shade. Uh, it's called Disturbance. This is basically a very yellow tone gold. And I'm going to apply it in my inner corners and I just feel that it gives that nice extra character to your eyes just instantly. I'm going to tightline my lower lash line as well with the help of that same plum kajal. And for my brow bones, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 
light uh, shade called sugar coated this is a great highlighter for brow bones and i think you can use it as your face highlighter as well i didn't really try but i would love to do that because this shade is not that chunky it has a very light shimmer in it almost like a face highlighter with that our eyeshadow part is almost done now it's time to prep our lashes i'm curling my lashes and then i'm going to coat it with maybelline big shot mascara I have applied false lashes as well and for my lips I'm going to use Tweet Secret matte lip color. I think this is in the shade called Tweet Taupe. I'm not sure but again I will mention everything in the description box. With this uh, so much going on with our eyes I just thought that why not we should keep our lips nude but if you're someone who just rocks bold on bold kind of look you can totally pair this eyeshadow with some uh, warm chocolate lip color or maybe some red lips. it will look amazing trust me so while our matte lipstick is drying what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um, add some quick four freckles now now i'm creating this freckles with the help of that same eyebrow pencil which i used today for my brows and uh, this is a completely optional step i really really like this kind of four freckles look this kind of as a more character to your look but if you're someone who doesn't really like them you can totally skip this part as you can see this is just an additional step which i personally like to do and once i'm happy with the amount of freckles i have added i'm going to seal everything off with a setting spray and here i'm using the wet and wild matte finish setting spray so that was it i hope you have enjoyed the technique uh, i really like the way it looks it's definitely not full coverage i agree with that but uh, this is i'll just say that this is much more natural looking i mean you just need to apply your highlighter bronzer blusher then you have to apply your foundation the way your i did and uh, if you are some i'm not saying that this is the right way to do it if you are someone who likes full coverage like on the face a uh, highlighter this is totally up to you you just do you okay i'm not saying that uh, your technique is wrong and my technique is right and i think that is the most important thing and fun thing about makeup that uh, you can there is no rule in makeup whatever you like to do you just do it okay so this is something that i have recently discovered and i have recently started uh, doing it uh, and i really love the way it looks i know what you guys are thinking that i have oily skin but still i have used uh, all the pretty much like all the cream products but trust me guys it is not going to make your skin more oily because just think about it you have put your cream products only the, here and where you tend to get more oily your t zone you are actually applying a thin layer of foundation because in this technique you are not going to layer it up or cake it up and that is what exactly is not going to make your skin more oily so you don't really need to worry about that also i would like to mention one thing that you in this technique that is very important that you set your face properly so that's why i have used here wet and wild matte finish setting spray because i have oily skin also i have used a foundation which is very much suitable for my skin that is maybelline fit me foundation which is great for oily skin type especially for me so if you have a uh, oily skin just make sure that you are using the right kind of foundation and setting spray for your skin type if you have dry skin or normal skin you follow the same rule in this video i have used this um i love makeup mint chocolate palette from makeup revolution and oh my god guys this stuff is amazing <laughs> if you are looking for a good palette you should have this in uh, in your collection it has like beautiful color ranges you can create numerous uh, number of looks from this palette also it smells like uh, mint chocolate actually <laughs> and uh, bonus tip that this palette is actually a dupe for uh, anastasia beverly hills subculture palette but uh this palette is not the exact dupe but the colors are like pretty similar and i'm really sorry for my running nose i won't annoy you any more uh so if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video take care bye